right, so uh, new spot. We just uh, <laughs> pulled over on the side of the road as we're driving up to kind of where we thought we might camp uh, this evening. And uh, we were just like, oh, this kind of looks good. This looks like a berry spot. Like there's some red out there, you know, like let, we got some daylight. Like we might as well stop and glass this. And literally within two minutes, Jeff's like, I got a bear. And I'm like, no freaking way. And sure enough, yep. Nice little jet black bear coming straight down this little chute over here. Boogied down to the bottom. And we're like, well, that's weird. Why is he moving around or whatever? I haven't even had a chance to get the spotters out yet. And uh, we're looking and looking and looking. Jeff's like, I have another bear on the same wall, just a little bit further out there. So now we have two bears, brand new spot. We've never even glassed this before. Just looked looked good, looked like there was berries. And sure enough, there's two bears out there right now. So we're gonna get the spotters out, try and get a better look at them, see what they are. And then uh, there's a slight- Change of plans for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, change of plans for tomorrow. There's still a slight chance. Like if, if they do something correct this evening, we could boogie out somewhere and potentially even get a shot this yeah, evening. Yeah, we're really after it right now. We're, we're ready. It's 7.20 and look at us. Yep. <laughs> uh, but, Otherwise, we have a pretty good idea for what to do tomorrow morning, where to go, sit and set up and uh, try and turn these bears up again because obviously this wall is hot right now. So I'm going to get the spotter out and uh, take a look and see what we're dealing with. Let's find this guy again. So we just hit uh, this little glassing spot that we kind of had located. We got here so that we could try and turn up this bear in this big drainage. I just turned it back up. He's at like 750, which is uh, a little too far for the, the range that we want to shoot a bear at. We have maybe, maybe 15 minutes of daylight, but with how, with how content this bear is and knowing that there's multiple bears in this drainage, rather than rushing in there, last light like this i think we're just gonna drop a pin on on go on right where we're glassing from and also a rangefinder tool over to where that bear was so that we can come right back here in the morning be sitting right on this knob and just we have a perfect like perfect view of this whole drainage and we already see two, saw two bears in here so we know that like they're in here and the berries are in here there's no reason for us to boogie in there muck anything up and push him out. All right, what's up guys? Uh, Jeff and I are over here for weekend, like number three of uh, bear season here. Jeff got out that opener, got his first bear notched, and then just a couple weekends ago, we were out, Bob, Jeff, myself, and Samong, uh, had a crazy day of bear hunting, but uh, no tags notched, so Jeff and I are out here. Uh, kind of the last weekend, true true weekend of August here, uh, and just kind of picked a new spot, and we're checking some stuff out, and boy did we nail it uh, this evening. We picked up two bears right away, uh, did a quick bonsai trip out there to see if we can get on one, relocated the bears, but unfortunately they were just a little bit too far out um, to get there with daylight tonight, so we backed out came back out here, we're gonna set up camp. We're gonna camp right here. We moved out about 500 to 800 yards away. I don't know how we zigzagged around and stuff like that, but we got back out of that ridge, out of that drainage. We're gonna set up camp here, camp here for the night, and then we can boogie back in first thing in the morning beyond the glassing knob that we just left. And we have a beautiful view of everything. And I am fully confident that we're going to turn at least one of those bears up tomorrow and have a really good shot to to put one down what we got zach oh we got a uh, double beef pasta marineras going tonight mm. we both pulled them out at the same time and we even have some fresh chocolate chip cookies courtesy of the lovely, beautiful, sweet woman that Janie Roberts is. Thank you, Janie. Kiss ass. <laughs> Someone's gotta be. <laughs> he's saying just keep them coming. Dude. That's what he's saying, just keep them coming. We got a lot of hunts to go. <laughs> yeah. 
8.45, we got dinners cooking, uh, beds are set up, we're ready to go. We get fueled up, we'll get our packs all put together for tomorrow morning and we're gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna be in the zone first thing in the morning. I'm, I'm pretty excited, I'm feeling pretty good about it. We've been sitting down uh, for three minutes, I think. Uh, before Jeff even got his tripod and binos out, I picked up one of the bears. And then while we were kind of watching that bear, Jeff scanned just up and to the left and picked up a second bear. So there's two bears on the same face. Uh, they've both moved up if they are the same bears from last night. Uh, we're not sure, but they're in the same general area. so. High likelihood. Um, but now we're just kind of starting to look at topography and routes and things like that to start figuring out a game plan to move in, get closer. Right now they're about a thousand yards out. All right, it's been six minutes since the previous check-in. Uh, we've been just kind of watching these bears. We determined that one of the two bears that we had seen is a no shoot, it's small. We watched it kind of just walk all over the place and got some good looks at it it's it's small the further one out is still a good bear um, when we're just kind of watching it we haven't even moved yet and uh well we've got a third bear now <laughs> uh jeff as i was watching the other bear jeff was just kind of scanning around and he's just like oh i got a chocolate bear now and so now we're watching that chocolate bear because it's actually closer than the far bear I'm rolling. All right, so we're just getting our stuff packed up. And we're gonna make a play on this chocolate bear first because it's closer. And uh, we think we have a pretty good route picked out for it. The bigger black bear is further out. And so the other hope is if we can get in here, potentially get this chocolate shot because that black bear is further out, it might not bugger him up at all. And that bear has just been content all morning, just sitting, I mean, within a 50 yard circle, just eating, moving around, eating, moving around. So we're gonna get up on this big ridge here and uh, make our way over. And we kind of got some rocks picked out. It looks like if we can get into these rocks, we should be able to kind of shoot down and across right towards where this chocolate is. So. Jeff, 
because he can't help himself. Had to go and look into our, and he had to go and look into there. And instead of like looking into the basin of it, like a normal person, he looked at the very, very top of it. And it's the craziest thing, but there's a school bus <laughs> driving around up there. <laughs> And so now we're gonna look at it just for shits and giggles, but it is literally at the top of this mountain, right beneath like a rock spire, just like out there. I don't literally in like goat country, just straight up goat country. There's no reason for this bear to be up there other than the berries must be good up there. And so we're gonna get some some digiscope of it just for fun. This is how important this is. Yeah, yeah. Mid stock. <laughs> we're we're stopping just to to look at another bear because it's what we do. Why not? shot sounded good use your binos you went straight down yep I'm watching low Zach death moaning baby all right uh, 925 had you shot five minutes ago and uh, footage looks awesome uh, in the scope watched it watched him roll and then just take off downhill and within 15 seconds of the shot Jeff heard the death moan and uh, when we played it back on the big camera you could hear the death moan on the camera too I couldn't hear it because I had my ear pro in um, at the time but pretty positive we got a dead bear over there and uh, patience killed this guy we slow played it over here got set up, found him. It started with backing out last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Backing out last night, giving him a chance to just be in here unpressured, didn't rush it, got in here. And we've been on this bear for probably 45 minutes, just like waiting for him to present like a good shot and, you know, waiting for the camera to be on him, waiting for me to be on him and like getting all those things to line up perfectly just took a little bit of time. But we knew that this bear was unpressured, 
there was no rush, no reason to be like in a big hurry. And we just held tight and just kept watching and kept, kept tabs on him. And he finally came out and gave us a great shot. And the shot looks great on the, on the footage. So I'm super happy with that. It was like 390 yards um, with the new Aero Precision 6.5 PRC. Uh, Use the old ballistic app, dialed up to, what am I at? Six and a half there, six and a half MOA. And uh, all right, so this was my setup here. As you can see, we got the Aero Precision 6.5 PRC Solus Hunter set out. We got the Razor, uh, Vortex Razor LHT 3 to 15. And I went with the 3 to 15 just because I prefer the reticle inside of it. No, no reason other than that. Um, but I made sure to, I had a nice solid rest with my bipod in the front. That's a new Spartan Precision uh, that I actually just got sh first time shooting off it. Worked out great. The leg adjustment was super easy. Was able to uh, keep an eye on my bubble level and uh, make sure that that stayed true the whole time. And then my rear rest was the most difficult part because sh I was shooting down just a little bit, but I had to be up and up a high enough to get over these rocks. So I have a Stone Glacier Puffy here. And I have my marsupial optic cover underneath and I just kind of folded that and then I used my puffy to really be able to like sink into my rear rest and get super, super solid. And I just, I felt great on the shot, um, touched it off and watched him back through the scope, watched the bear react to it. Um, it's hard to get much better than that, you know. We just got over to where I shot the bear and we found blood right away. It's coming straight down this log. We watched the footage back, could see exactly where he was standing with these white logs. Just kind of walked right to it and we got blood down these rocks, down these logs, going straight down. So we're just gonna keep picking away at this blood trail and uh, he should just be down below us, not too far. We heard the death moan literally within Five, 10 seconds, 15 seconds at the most. So he didn't make it too terribly far downhill. We just gotta stay on this trail and find him. All right, well, uh, blood trail over. Found, found the bear, made it maybe 20 yards from where impact was. So can't ask for much more. He's piled up right here. And walk over and take a look. We just got my bear recovered, got her propped up here, getting some photos done. Just a beautiful, really nice representation of a Washington bear here. It's just a nice medium bear. There's nothing, it's not a giant by any means, but it's a very average sized dry sow. Um, no, no cubs, no, no milk, no nothing here. Just a dry lone bear um, out here just feasting on these berries like there was really no berries back where we were glassing from and sitting at and then we get into onto this wall coming over here and it's just loaded with berries so as they say man find the berries find the bears and uh Just uh, started skinning this bear out and got to my exit wound and the old Tamarack 2.0 
hit a little piece of metal and I heard that little clink, clink, clink and pulled it out and look at that. That is super intact. All the way through, right into the off front shoulder is where that was. All right, well, bear is cut up and into the Argali game bags. And Jeff is loaded up already into his, his XO there. I am uh, just finished eating a couple little snacks and I'm getting some hydrate and recover dumped into my water bottle here. Gonna drink a bunch of this because it's starting to get pretty hot out. Um, but get some water in us, get some snacks in us, get my pack loaded up. And then we'll head out of here. Um, right when I was finishing my bear, we had a little bit of excitement. Uh, Jeff looked straight up the hill, and he's like, "Oh shit, there's a bear!" <laughs> and of course, like, there's a bear literally standing up on the hill, 125 yards away, yeah. maybe, and just start starts taking off away from us. And so he grabs the gun and he's on it. And but we're looking at it. And it yeah, I think it was that smaller jet black bear that we'd saw on this face earlier today. So we just watched him cruise on out of here and get out of here, but just just that close to potentially being a double right there. So if it, if it had been that chocolate, uh, I think that bear was gonna be having some lead thrown its way. Sounds like an avalanche down there. Yeah. But, uh, Yeah, we're about an hour into it. We just took about a 15 minute little break here, got some more water and just kind of BS for a few minutes. And now we're gonna strap them back on and make this next little trek out of here and hopefully just kind of slowly push our way all the way back out to the truck. So it's 1.30 right now. So we should hopefully be back to the truck about 2.30-ish, about another hour, maybe 45 minutes, hour, something like that. Just kind of depends on how hard it is to get over to that ridge but once we get there we're golden and we know it so oh we just hit the truck we're crushing some liquids and if you liked what you saw and you liked watching the suffer and the sweat and the struggle please 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 do us a big favor Go right down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, tell us what your favorite part was. Was it the part where Zach was grunting and groaning and whining and moaning and whatever? Or was it the sweet kill shot that Jeff got on film? Let us know what your favorite part was. We love interacting with you guys. Uh, please like and subscribe so that you know when we post a new video every single time. We truly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. We will catch you next time. See you on the mountain. <music>